Hello fellow candle connoisseurs, this is Candace bringing you another video. This is for a Victoria's Secret SAS haul. Um, I haven't bought Victoria's Secrets in years and um, from what I've purchased, I don't know if it's just the pink line or not. It just seems like the quality isn't there. It seems to be more of for like maybe a teen line or something. Um, I know when I used to get Victoria's Secret, their regular line of things, they were pretty decent, but the pink line just doesn't seem to be that great of a quality. And I doubt that I would purchase any more Victoria's Secret um, stuff again. I'm just not really that impressed with it. Um, Excuse me, especially for the price. The uh, feedback seems to be much better than what the actual items are. Um, I solely did my purchases based on feedback and then some of the scent notes I thought I would like. But as I said, I'm not really too impressed with it. So let me just show you what I've got real quick. Um, this of all, this is the one thing that had horrible feedback. But I thought it was so cute and I would give it a try anyway. But I can see just looking at it where it's not going to last long. It was a little donut um, sponge. Um, this did get very bad feedback. Most people said it fell apart after one use. But I got it anyway, so I'm going to try it. I like the little donut stuff. And um, then the vanilla swirl, I got that. This... Um, was a limited edition item. Um, I don't know, I think it was back in the Christmas time though, but they were selling it on SAS. And I did spray this and it does smell pretty good. Their stuff tends to have a more of an alcohol type scent for their um, body sprays. But this one did uh, smell all right. Like I said, I don't think I would purchase Victoria's Secret stuff again. Um, but I did like the vanilla swirl. Let me smell this again. Yeah, their stuff goes on with a very heavy alcohol scent. And actually, it smelled better the first time I sprayed it. Yeah, it's just their their quality is not great. As I said, this might be more for like a teen line, um, but. I definitely wouldn't buy this stuff again. Um, then I got pink lemonade. And I think this one smelled good. Let me try it again. I think this one actually smelled better than some of the reviews said. That's why I got a mini. Yeah, it's not bad. Still, it's not high quality. Nothing that I would definitely get again but it does have that pink lemonade scent. And um, for this, it says fresh lemonade and summer skies. Let me see if the vanilla thing said anything on it. It said whipped vanilla, frosted snowflakes. But like I said, just not really good quality, more alcohol type smell. Then I got this, um, Coco Chill with Cannabis Stativa Sea Oil Calming Sleep Mask. Um, this mask, you're supposed to put it on, leave it overnight, and wash it off. I really want to start taking more better care of my skin since I'm getting older and, you know, with my health issues, just so I can start feeling a little bit better. So um, I read the reviews on this, and it's supposed to be good, so I'll give it a try. And maybe I'll do a video and let you know if it's any good or not. And then I was debating on whether to get the um, scrub or the shower gel. And I ended up getting the scrub. Um, I got the honey scrub and sugar. And it had good reviews on it. So I'm hoping it is good. Um, I really don't have much scrub, so I wanted to try this and see what it's about. And I believe this smelled pretty good. Mm, it smells okay. 
not the greatest, just like everything else. Let me smell this other thing that I had, the Cocoa Chill. Cocoa Chill doesn't smell that good, but it's a mask, so it doesn't really matter. So, like I said, so far I'm not really impressed with all this stuff. Um, I did get four little mini hand creams. I might sell these. I don't know. They probably won't sell since they're already on SAS anyway. Um, but I got, which one is this? This just says, um, pink hand cream, coral lotus. And none of these smell that great. I already sniffed them. Um, this one is uh, Desert Palm. And it doesn't give scent notes on these. And even the website, I don't think it gave the scent notes for these. This one is Ruby Guava. And this one is Beach Blossom. And once again, um, really not impressed. I kind of regret getting all this stuff. Um, but I'll see. I'll use it and see. Um, I figure these little hand creams I could use when traveling, especially since we're using so much sanitizer and hand washing. I thought that might be a good idea to have that in, in a little type of mini bag when I'm traveling. Um, I think the honey scrub will be good, and I think the mask will be good, but everything else I'm really not impressed with. I'm sorry if you love pink products and you're a um, Victoria's Secret lover. Please don't um, bash me for it. I'm just giving you my honest opinion upon uh, sniffing everything. I just don't think the quality is there. The scents are definitely not there. Um, I doubt if I'll really be repurchasing anything again. Um, in general, their SAS, their stuff is really overpriced at Victoria's Secrets. Um, even with their SAS discounts, they still seem to be pretty high, so I didn't even bother to buy any type of clothing or anything. I used to love their um, sleep shirts, but I didn't get that either. Um, just things are overpriced, and their shipping is so expensive. It's like $8 or $8.99 for shipping unless you spend a huge amount of money. And to me, it's just not worth it. So, sorry, this is pretty negative, but like I said, I have to be honest about stuff. I can't lie about my uh, opinion on things. So that's about it, guys. Um, thank you for watching this video. Please check out my past videos and my upcoming videos. I just did a Bath & Body Works haul. I have a SAS video for them as well. And that's about it. I won't continue on babbling. Please hit that like button and that subscribe button. And I hope you're having a wonderful day or evening wherever you are.